Measles were eradicated in the U.S. more than 20 years ago, but now we're seeing new outbreaks of the disease. In Philadelphia, doctors are on high alert after nine cases were reported. A cluster started in a hospital and spread to other medical facilities and a daycare center. CBS station's national investigative correspondent Stephen Stock explains how declining vaccination rates are jeopardizing herd immunity. Physicians today know that measles is more than a nuisance. Measles used to be a rite of passage for kids. It's a potentially deadly and highly contagious childhood virus that causes a telltale rash. A vaccine introduced in the early 60s helped nearly eradicate the disease, but it's making a comeback. That's because of a decrease in immunized children nationwide. And according to data from the Pennsylvania Department of Health, where there's a current outbreak, during the 2021-2022 school year, 94.3% of kindergartners in Philadelphia County were fully vaccinated with the MMR vaccine. Last school year, that dropped to 92.8%, below the 95% needed for herd immunity. That's really a wake-up call because the real number in many communities is probably far below 93%. Dr. Peter Hotez is co-director of the Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development and a professor of pediatrics at Baylor College of Medicine. He says outbreaks like this one are more likely when the rates drop. Measles does not typically occur among highly vaccinated populations. So in that sense, um, low vaccination rates are the indirect cause of measles. My concern is that we're still going to see additional measles cases. And I worry that when you talk about up to 20, roughly 20 percent of uh, measles uh, cases require hospitalizations, if this continues, we're going to start seeing hospitalized kids with measles. A trend that we could see nationwide where MMR vaccine levels have been dropping over the last few years and now are at 93.1 percent. We're just seeing now this is the tip of the iceberg. Um, we're going to be seeing this in communities uh, across the United States in, in the coming uh, weeks and months um, because of the spillover of the um, U.S. anti-vaccine movement to childhood immunizations. For CBS Mornings, I'm Stephen Stock.